Hello everybody, welcome to the shop for your Saturday episode of Bob TV. Baby, brought to you from Grandpa Bob. <laughs> hey, thanks everybody for all your congrats and all that stuff. But yeah, we're pretty excited. Our first grandbabies. First of many, I hope. My daughter wants a big family. So let's just hope we got lots of them. And my son's still single. <laughs> Don't think he didn't get to talk the other day. <laughs> one, one clock's ticking. I need grandbabies. You got to find you a wife. But, uh, I put some more pictures on my Facebook page, guys. Oh, yeah, I went and held him. <laughs> a little video guy. It was only like six pounds. Yeah. The new generation of Top Gun pilot right there, baby. Don't think Grandpa ain't gonna be starting his jet pretty soon. <laughs> we gotta get him, get him ready for the big league. Gonna slow me down a few days here in the shop. I'm trying to get my groove back on. Get back into the groove. But Wes has got Wes has got this whole week off, guys, and ain't got no motorcycling work to do or none of that. So we're gonna be slinging some resin. We're going to get all these parts glass today. I got a pile of ailerons and flaps. I've got two glass. Get all that stuff ready for primer. Kind of got some big plans. Big plans. But man, anytime I complain instead of sanding, I will because of the dust. I like I don't like the dust from sanding balsa wood. Gets everywhere. So I just kinda use the sanding to finish it up.
When I was on Facebook the other day, you know, I never have really messed with Facebook that much. You know, and I ran into some people I have not seen in many, many years. That's just amazing. Trixie, get out of there. Don't worry about my trash can. Yeah, I caught you. And I gotta get these ailerons fixed to that wing. Oh, I got, I got uh, the other gear door done on that little Mustang. Piddling on that, trying to get my groove back. <laughs> then I put this fillet in. I just did this this morning. Put a piece of my fiberglass, laid up fiberglass against there, glued that in place, and then come in there with some that white light filler. That's dry now. I'm gonna take that in the house, let it dry for a couple days, then I'll sand that and glass it. I gotta glass that wing fillet too. And uh, glass it. And that will be good to go. But they both came out really good. You might gotta get your fingernails in there to open them because they're such a good fit. Nice smooth across there. Came out really good. Both your doors open equally. If you you got to get it lined up right before it's a loop right See? But if you line them up on that deal in the back there, pretty close. Pretty close. Another thing you got to look for is to make sure these ain't crooked. And they're not. They're pretty straight. Looks good, man. Look like them done. That wing's pretty much ready for primer. Um, fuselage is getting close. And I want to get get all that stuff primed. And uh, this pile, of, I got to get these glassed today. Not the rudders glassed. Just all the ailerons and flaps and the stuff for this. And uh, we'll be back in business. We'll be back in business. Man, it sure is cold out. It's cold weather. I hate the cold. <laughs> I'm going to stay in the shop. I'll just stay in the shop. I got too much work to do to be loafing.
shop. But... Well, guys, I'm going to keep on trucking. Let's see if I can't get something done today and make another video or two. What do you think, Trixie? Leave that wood alone. She's a brat. I'm going to give her away as a zonk prize on one of my... <laughs> <laughs> my deals but anyway we'll, we'll see you guys back in the shop